Hello, Jessica Frost Ballas here with a video for Lawn Fawn. Today I'm celebrating spring with a cheery floral bluebird house featuring a variety of dyes from Lawn Fawn. So let's get started. First, I've die cut all the pieces I'll need for today's card. I die cut the outside in stitch sun from Strathmore Bristol Smooth cardstock. The pieces from the Magic Iris Birdhouse add on with light brown wood grain cardstock and ground coffee and a bunch of flowers and greenery from Magic Iris Birdhouse add-on, Little Flowers, and Meadow Backdrop Portrait dies using Apricot, Guava, Raspberry, and Cilantro Lawn Fawn cardstock. First, I want to tone down the brown cardstock a bit, so I temporarily adhere it to a piece of low-tack tape to give me an easy way to hold the pieces while I blend. Then I blend white pigment ink over the brown cardstock to give it a bit of a weathered wood effect. It really softens the brown and gives me the lighter color I'm looking for. Next, I adhere my sun to the tape and blend all over with scattered straw distress oxide ink for a cheery soft yellow. Then I remove the outside part of the sun and blend mustard seed distress oxide ink over the center for a bright and sunny color. I add a little blending to the inside edge of the outside part of the sun as well. I set those pieces aside to dry while I work on the background of my card. I take the cloudy stencil and lay it over a panel of Strathmore Bristol Smooth cardstock that's cut slightly larger than an A2 panel. Then I use a blending brush to lightly blend Blueprint Sketch, Salty Ocean, and Tumbled Glass Distress Oxiding over the stencil moving from darkest to lightest. I rotate the stencil to use different sides and move it around on my panel to get different angles and designs. Once I'm done blending, I trim the cloud panel down to a four and a quarter by five and a half A2 panel and adhere it to a top folding card base. Next, I've stamped the bird and wings from Special Delivery and another bird from Get Well Before and Afters with Copic Friendly Jet Black Ink, and I color them with Copic markers. I'm attempting to color my birds like bluebirds, so I start off by coloring their beaks and feet with lighter shades of toner gray. I recently refilled some of my markers, so you'll notice that occasionally both ends are uncapped when I'm coloring. This just helps equalize the pressure and ensures that no ink leaks out when I'm coloring. Next, I use B1, B24, B26, and B28 for their wings and bodies. I lay down the lightest shade, B21 first, and then add my shadows with B28. I move back down towards the lightest shade and use B21 to blend everything out. I use YR0000 for their bellies and then add the darker shading with YR02, YR01, and YR00. This gives the bluebirds their characteristic orange bellies. Once I'm done coloring, I die cut them with the coordinating dies.
Off camera, I arranged my scene onto my sun panel to get a general idea of where I wanted everything. I took a photo of the layout with my camera for reference and then started to adhere the individual pieces. I used regular ATG adhesive for the sun and foam mounting tape for the birdhouse. I ended up using a scrap piece of ground coffee cardstock for the inside of the birdhouse instead of the circle and adhered that to the background with HD adhesive. Since I was using foam mounting tape for the house, I wanted to make sure that the cloud panel wouldn't be visible around the edges of the circle. Next I added my big bird in the greenery. Then I used liquid glue to add all the flowers in my little bird. Once I was finished adhering everything to my scene, I stamped the sentiment from tree before and afters onto raspberry cardstock with Versafine and heat embossed it with clear embossing powder. Then I trimmed them both down to thin labels. I adhered the sentiment to the bottom of my card with foam mounting tape. Then I added accents with a white gel pen and iridescent jewels to the center of the bigger flowers for a little extra sparkle and shine. Off camera, I also remembered to trim off the birdhouse post that was hanging off the bottom of the card. And that's it! I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, I'd love for you to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe to the Lawn Fawn channel for even more crafty inspiration. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, have a wonderful day and happy crafting! Bye!